Hello there, I'm Dave Allen. I'm good and geeky. Today I want to have a look at how I can make better use of Logstack. I like reading and I like to have a record of the books I read. I do use the application Goodreads, but I think it would be nice to have my own database as well. And I think I can use Logstack for this. So what we need is a way to input the data quickly and efficiently. And for this, I've decided to use templates. I have templates for books I've read, TV series I've watched, and also for movies. When the data is put into Logstack Graph through the journal, so let's go into the journal there, and you can see I've been adding books as I've read them. So there's one there called Time, and it's a terrible book. Don't read it. And there, Whisper of Sorrows, which was a police procedural murder mystery. When the data is put into the Logstack Graph through the journal, what I need is then a way to propagate that into a page, which gives me a list of all the books I've read so far, like so. I haven't put many books in there as yet, but there will be more books added as I go along. I found two ways of doing this, and one way is to use a query, which is what's showing here, and another way to do it is to use tags. So you can see I've put a tag here in the template, and if I click on this here, it'll give me a list of books I've read. Let's click on that, and as you can see, I get a list of the books I've read on there as well. I think this is probably the better way to do it, to use tags, but I'll show you both ways anyway. So how do we go about doing this? Well, the first thing to do is to start making a template. Let's go into templates here and we'll look at books read. And if I click just above that bit there, I can get into the template and edit it. The template is made up by the title at the top of it there, which I've used the uh, bold syntax from Markdown to highlight it and show it's a, a title for this template. Then I've got template and the two colons are followed by book. Book is going to be the keyword you look for when you're adding a template to your journal. Then I've got the title, I've got the author, I've got tags, I've got rating, I've got genre, I've got review. All the things there that I want to have in the template. While we're here, let's have a look at the template I've made for the movies watched. And I'm going to click just above that one there. And you can see that in this here I've got a similar sort of thing. So we've got uh, template movie. And then I've got a title rating and so on down there. I could put tags into this here. And I suppose the thing is, is that if I have a tag called book, that's going to come up with everything. But I could also have in this here a tag um, such as murder mystery. And then what I could do is I could actually click on that murder mystery. And with that tag, I could get to see the books, movies and TV series that are murder mystery. So that gives us other ways of viewing the data. It could combine information from three areas, TV series watched, movies watched, and books that I've read. So let's see this in action. Let's go to journals. And we're gonna put in a book that I've read. Okay, so let's go through to the 19th of April. And one way of getting through to this quickly is by using this date picker at the top there. So here we are on the 19th of April, and I finished this book on this day here. So let's click on this to edit. And I'll use the forward slash and I'll go to templates. So now I can choose book. And in here, I'm going to put in the title of the book, Force of Time. Command B to make that bold. The author is Adrian Cousins. And this is where I put my tags. So in the tags, I'm going to put in there that it's a book. And then I put a comma in there. And then I'm going to put time travel in there as well. And then I'm going to go to rating and I'm going to give it five stars. And genre. Well, now that I've put time travel into the tags, I don't really need to put genre in here, but I'll put it in there anyway. So let's uh, put it in there. And then in a review, I'll put in uh, that I liked it. Obviously, I would do a more full review if I was doing this outside of this video. So here we go. Click off that now. And I've got my book title in there and I've got all the details in there and so on. And what I can do now is to go to book. And there we go. We've got a list of the books I've read. And you can see that Force of Time by author Adrian Cousins is in this list of books I've read. How cool is that? But what I've also done is I've created a books read page. And in this here, I've done it with a query. So the query is for the tag book. And there's a list of the queries that you can use. And if I scroll down through this here, you can see there that the uh, book read Force of Time by Adrian Cousins is in there as well. So to make this query, I search for the tag book. Let's go to this one here and show you how to make a query. So it's quite simple. You use the two open curly braces followed by the word query and then the hashtag and then the word that you're looking for in the tags. And in this case, I'm looking for book. 
as soon as I click off there, you'll see that I've got all the books in there. Now, another good thing about using the uh, query to do it is that you get different views. Let's close the right hand side panel for the moment and we'll have a look at table view. And with table view, instead of getting a sort of a full page of all of the books I've read, instead I've got a list of books in a table format, which is kind of nice. In the list then I was getting an extra block that I didn't need so I went into the settings for the query and I'm going to turn the block off like so and job done. Okay so now I've just got my list of books I've read and from here I can use this to go to Blake Crouch or I can have a look at all the time travel books for instance. Let's move this out of the way and as you can see you can scroll through this here and you can see all of these stuff here. So this is a good way to use LogSec to record all the books that you've been reading and to do it either by using tags or a combination of tag and query. So this is Dave Allen, I'm Good and Gig, you have got something from this and don't forget to click on the like and to subscribe. Bye bye now.